Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is your MCQ and the question is in front of you. I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried so let's start. Now if you look at which of the compound has maximum resonance stability or which of the compound is maximum aromatic, aromatic. and aromaticity means stabilization. So which is most stable? That could be another way of asking this question. If you look at the option benzene, this is an ethylene derivative, this is pyrene and this is dimethyl pyrene. Question is who is maximum stable? In order to get the right answer, let's look at this molecule from the point of view that who is aromatic and who is anti-aromatic, less aromatic like that. So if we compare the aromaticity, then we can understand the, about their stability. Now benzene undoubtedly aromatic according to Huckel rule. Whether what is Huckel rule? According to Huckel rule, four conditions are there. It must be cyclic, second planar, third molecule must be conjugated, means every car every atom should have at least one p orbital such that they can undergo conjugation. And fourth, 4n plus 2 number of pi electron for aromaticity. And if it has 4n pi electron, then obviously anti-aromaticity. Means aromaticity means stabilization, anti-aromaticity means unstabilization. So this is aromatic, stable. If you look at option B, it is actually have a doubt, why? The molecule looks like this. Now, if you look at this double bond, this. By the way, in this molecule, there is actually hydrogen. And these two hydrogen have very severe repulsion among them. Consequently, what happened? In order to avoid this repulsion, these molecules became bent. And bent means it have deviate from the planar arrangement. So it is not at a planar. So that's why it deviates this aromaticity, means it doesn't have that much of stability. So you can say that it has lesser stability. Fine. What about this? This molecule name is pyrene. So what is this if you compare 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 and 2. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 means 14 pi electron. Same thing is true for here, 14 pi electron. Now you can say, sir, are you doing any mistake? Mistake means you are not counting this one. Yes, today I am not counting this pi bond. Because this pi bond is not involved in resonance or aromaticity. Okay, so in this way, 14 electron, this is 14 electron. So according to 4n plus 2 number of pi electron rule, if you put n value is equal to 3. So both this pyrene or this dimethyl added pyrene, both are student aromatic. I guess many of you may do this mistake, sir. There are Two electrons so it is not four it is six so it is anti-aromatic no it is not anti-aromatic it's a very stable molecule even I have worked with this molecule in my laboratory it's a very stable molecule so so here this is stable this is also stable so who is lesser stable option B so today's in today's discussion what is the answer option B is the right answer okay now student remember one term the term is about surface aromaticity or aromaticity work around the surface. So for microcyclic ring means large ring system, these surface electrons, these are actually involved in aromaticity, not the core electron, I mean core pi electrons here. So you do any substitution here or not doesn't matter. Second thing, if you look at chemical reactivity point of view, these double bond, the inside double bond behaves as an isolated alkene because these surface pi bond they are aromatic so they have a distinct chemical properties and these double bond has a distinct chemical property it mainly behaves as isolated alkene so you can do reaction very easily on here because here no nothing huge amount of energy requirement will be there because it is isolated alkene but if you look at surface part aromaticity is there so if you want to do any reaction you need to destroy the aromatic stabilization. So we need to encounter that part also. So this is the overall discussion. I thanks everyone for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.